Hello Reddit, and welcome to my Minecraft world. Today I'd like to show you something I've been working on for the past few months, and that is my Minecart Rapid Transit System. So without further delay, let's get started. The structure you see in front of me is Nant Haven Station. This is the westernmost terminus of the transit line, and today we're going to take an eastbound train down the rest of the line until we reach the other end at Cactusville Station. There are 10 stations on the line in total, so if you want to figure out where we are during the course of this video, I suggest you look at, take a look at the maps I've linked to and the Reddit post. So, um, let's go inside. Push this one here. Go up these stairs to the platform level. Eastbound for Cactusville, that's where we want to go, so we just walk through this turnstile style here. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is request a cart that we can ride in. If you look to our right here, down there through that window is the minecart Pez Dispenser slash uh, Hopper slash Magazine. Basically the minecart storage. Uh, to request a cart, we need to stand on this pressure plate here. And there it comes. Also, this redstone torch will light up, indicating that a cart is ready for departure. So let's walk over here down the platform. There's our cart ready to go, and all we need to do now is board it. And now we're on our way. So the next station is Inferno Hill. Um, now to arrive at the station, uh, we need to hit press a button on the left or right hand side as we pass by it and this will engage a switch that will lead us into the arrival zone of the station. So um, here we go. And we've arrived. So I'll get out of the cart here and the booster carts will take the cart away automatically and bring it to the hopper there as you saw there. So, um, Inferno Hill Station looks just pretty much exactly the same as Nant Haven Station. That's because uh, what I did was I created an MC edit schematic in the beginning uh, with, of the station, and then just copied the station template uh, across multiple locations in my world. Uh, this helps uh, with the consistency and saves time a lot because if I, it would just take too much time and be, be too tedious to. Uh, uh, handcraft each of these stations. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's keep on going. Uh, let's suppose that the hopper is empty and we want to reload it. Uh, I have a cart in my hand here, so to do this we have to go over here to this manual cart launch and hopper reload. Um, all it really is is a direct feed into the rest of the system here. So to reload the cart, or I mean hopper, we just put the cart card here and push it. Well, oops, I forgot to show you that. There we go. Do one more here and there we go. All right. And if we want this the man that's that's the hopper reload part. The manual cart launch part is if you have a cart in hand and you want to ride in it as well. So, you put the cart here and well, what I'm going to do is push the cart and board it at the same time in one fell swoop. So, here we go. And that's that. Also, if you're wondering why Inferno Hill Station is named that way, there's your answer. That hill is clearly on fire. So we're on our way to Bleakwood Station. Uh, I'm not going to stop there since it's not too interesting. Um, I also mentioned that you probably noticed the signs on the w next station signs on the way on along our route. Uh, it's pretty hard to read them even at this uh, ludicrous speed. Um, though my computer is kind of lagging, uh, but um, yeah, uh, to in case you, what I did was e before each station there'll be two next station signs. So in case you missed the first one and didn't re don't know where you're going, there'll be a second one just before this, the next station, so you'll know where you're going. So there's the first one. Uh, next station is Emerald Island, and we're gonna stop there. And there comes the second sign right there. So we're going to stop at Emerald Island and you'll see it's a little different than the other three stations we've seen so far. Uh, I apologize for the lag. My computer is really struggling to render this. Alright, uh, 
I gotta get ready to push the button. There we go. And oh, okay, we've arrived. <laughs> All right, so get out of the cart there. Automatically take it up, or maybe not. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna try again. There we go. All right. So you'll notice we've arrived on the left-hand side this time. This is because Emerald Island Station is a center platform station. The other stations you've seen so far are side platform stations. So the advantage of having a center platform station is that it's very easy to get onto the other other side and board trains going in the opposite direction. So you see here, uh, same sort of thing, but this time this is these are trains for westbound for Nine Haven. Um, so yeah, in the side platform station, what you have to do is. Uh, go downstairs, go uh, through a concourse, which I haven't shown you yet, and then go back upstairs into to the other to the platform on the other side. Um, so yeah, uh, what I did was I made two different schematics, one for side and one for center platforms, because the when, wherever you put your station, you're going to need different kinds of types. So uh, for the side platform, uh, I ch for, Nand, for stations like Nand Haven or Inferno Hill, I use a side platform because there's lots of space space around there and I can build like large entrances on the side of the stations. But for a place like Emerald Island as you can see here uh, there's not much space to go around so a center platform with a center entrance like as you can see here is probably preferable. So yeah, um, let's go back upstairs and continue our journey. Alright, oh, oh, forgot to request a cart. Go. All right. So the next station is Janouli Beach. Uh, I'm going to stop there because I want to ex take some time to explain some bugs and caveats I've discovered while designing this uh, system of mine. So it's a nice day today here. laggy as well. Okay, I'm going to push that button. Alright, so I'm going to exit the cart, but I'm not going to I'm going to not going to move out of the cart yet. I'm going to quickly switch to third person view here. So, before the Halloween update, what happened was uh, when you exited a cart, uh, your player would actually end up about one block above the minecart, something like this. And the problem with that was if the ceiling was too high, that or too low, I mean, then your the player's head would get stuck in the ceiling and the player would suffocate, and that's bad. So I guess after the some after the Halloween update or maybe an update after that, uh, Notch fixed this by when when you exit the cart, you actually are kind of inside the cart. You can't see my legs there. So before you could see your legs, now you can't. Um, the problem with this, however, is as soon as I move out of there here, then the cart actually, well, the player and cart actually collide with each other, and the cart gets nudged, and that's why you see the the cart is now in some weird uh, rotated in some different direction. This kit, the problem with this is with the these sort of arrival systems where we have a plate here. This will screw when the booster car, car comes around. It will sometimes not be able to catch the cart and fail to collect your cart. Um, so yeah, uh, I also noticed that here another problem I should mention is the cart resetting. Um, somehow it got stuck in this state, so I'll just uh, push it in like that, and there it goes. All right, so that's that. Um, oh, also I'll mention another thing. Uh, you'll notice here on the platform I've made two arrival ports. Now this is my attempt at trying to make these stations ready for s uh, survival multiplayer or SMP as it's called. Um, unfortunately again with this uh, perpetual motion booster apparently I don't, I don't play that much SMP but apparently I've heard that perpetual motion boosters don't work very well in SMP 
and they require resetting. Just uh, let's uh, as you see, saw right now, even in my even in my single player world, I had to reset this booster here. So um, yeah, I have heard of a new design called a door booster um, that's been floating around, and I I may to try to tr try it. But if I have time, I'll probably replace these uh, perpetual boat motion boosters with door boosters if I have enough space in the station. What else can I say? Okay, back to these two arrival gates, though. Um, that the whole purpose is so that if there are two people, at least two, or two people arriving at the same time, at least one of them won't crash into each other when you're arriving. Um, but uh, what about what happens if um, suppose that both of these arrival ports are full and there's a third card coming in? So. Um, what the station is designed to do is actually deny access completely from this from the arrival zone if I have any third cart. So I'm going to de demonstrate this by simulating. Oh, that's not good. Simulating that the, these ports are actually have carts in them by putting these objects here. So now, if uh, let's say I'm a third cart coming along, do do do, and I hit this button. You'll notice that the indicator light and the switch do not engage at all, which is good because then the cart won't crash into one of the carts in the rival ports. Um, and it's also good because, uh, yeah, you, the third cart will skip, will not be able to get in. But uh, there, there's a second chance at the end of the station. There's a turnaround switch that they can push, uh, so if they can't get in, they can hit the switch, turn around, and try to arrive on the other side. So, yeah. So I'm going to collect these things there. Oh, re reset this one as well. All right, and one last thing I'll mention. Uh, this regards to the request cart mechanism. Uh, so basically, you can't spam the request cart mechanism. Um, where's my cart? Oh, there it is. So yeah, if I try, to, so I just requested the cart, and if I try to do this, it's not going to request another one. Uh, this is the system is reset when as by this stone pressure plate you see down there so as soon as I board this cart so once I board this cart someone else can then request another cart if they, if they choose to do so All right and um, I was gonna uh, probably I was thinking about putting more explanation about the minecart circuitry and all that sort of jazz but um, I'd like to try to keep this video concise so Let's just keep on going here.